Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So there is a stock in my portfolio that I have not spoken about for a very, very long time. And what I'm going to do today is basically give you the f a bit more information about this company, what they do, their financials, and at the same time, tell you exactly what I'm doing moving forward. But before we do that, just do me a favor. Okay, just like the video because it really helps the channel, number one. Number two, what I want to say is I'm not here to tell you what you can and cannot buy. And I'm not definitely here to kind of show off. What I'm doing here is just show you my journey and then it's up to you if you want to also take that journey. Because what I've realized is, is there's a lot of people out there who are very negative about the stock market. And I get it, it's absolutely fine. If this is not for you, it's not for you. But it is very important that you know you learn about it then you invest the right way because there's so many people do invest in penny stocks and things that are not really for the long term kind of thing and then later on they complain about the, how the stock market market is rigged and this and this and that so if you're looking for a sharia compliant kind of portfolio and this is what i'm trying to build here every single stock in here is a, basically to my knowledge is a sharia compliant company and I'm doing the best that you know I can to make sure I stick with that, inshallah. Obviously, there will be the odd situation where one of these companies decides to start selling, you know, something that is not Sharia compliant. And in those situations, I'll just move on and sell that stock because there are thousands of stocks out there. So I'm trying to be honest and transparent about what I'm doing. I've been sharing this portfolio with you guys for two plus years now, and I'm going to continue doing that, inshallah. So if you are enjoying this and you want to be part of the journey, inshallah, give the videos a like, subscribe to the channel, and definitely join us on the Discord where you basically, and the Patreon account, where you get access to a lot of the spreadsheets and things that I use. Also also including the Sharia compliant invest in investing book as well. Um, according to, um, for example, uh, the sorry, the portfolio that I'm actually um, showing you right now is in Trading Two One Two, and they have a like if you basically sign up, you get a free share, and I get a free share. So if you want to use the link in the description, feel free to do that. Obviously, if you got one already, Alhamdulillah, just move on. Right, what I want to talk about the company that I want to talk about today is Merck. Okay, this company has been in my portfolio for a long time. For one year, it's up about 19%. A year to date is only up about 3%, sorry, down 3%, um, and six months is actually almost flat. The one month is actually down about 1.36%. Now, I've had this company for a long time and I haven't actually done anything with it. So what I wanna do today is just kinda give you an overview of the basically the company, the, what they do, what they sell, and then inshallah, show you the financials behind after all, then after everything else, okay? now. Um, according to um, the Morningstar, the price, the stock price should be about ninety-seven dollars per share. For that reason, it's about three thirteen percent premium. But they have reported on the first of August, and according to the analyst here, they obviously the the to total sales has actually increased about fourteen percent. When you exclude the basically the COVID treatment, which is basically one of the things that so many companies have come up with in the last few years, and now slowly is going to go away as you know, alhamdulillah, because COVID is gone. This obviously there will the treatment is still will be there, but it's the demand will not be there. But one of the com things that this company sells, or one of the drugs this company sells, is this thing, okay, cancer drug called the Keytruda. That's up about 21%, and it represents about 40% of the total sales for this company. Now, if you go to the company's website, you'll find a lot more information. So if you work in the healthcare, and you know what these companies like do the drugs and so on, you kind of deal with that side of things, then you have a massive advantage over people like myself, who really doesn't know much about these companies, okay? I'm going by based on what I've learned so far and what I've seen, right? So you've got a lot of that information in there, and one of those information is, is this thing here. This is what they reported Q2 2020, um, 2023 as you can see here and if you scroll down here you will see there's a lot of information in there but the bit that i want to get to is basically the fact that they've sold about 15 billion dollars worldwide in terms of q2 and you can see the breakdown of that okay so the full year because they're expecting about 48.7 billion so that's about 17 percent up 
and so that was 2021 sorry 2022 basically was about 59.3 so that was up about 22 percent and guidelines basically right now ranges from 58.6 to 59.6 so again they might just basically be on the positive or it could be a negative for that reason the price actually went down a bit recently so i think that's a lot to do with um, the guidelines okay now the in terms of sales as you can see is about 15 billion dollars um, that they made worldwide and there's also two sections the human health and they got the animal health animal health year basically down uh, down for the year but when it comes to the human health side of things it was actually up about six percent and this one was down about one percent now one of the major drugs this company has is called key trudy like i've shown you already 21 percent up a year to um, year and as you can see 20 q2 of 2021 2022 and 2023 you can see it's actually heading the right direction and there's still apparently more demand for the drug this company but for this drug basically one of the things i like about, about this company is they're they're very much diversified when it comes to their drugs and which is good basically that's what you want as an investor if everything was basically um, just a key through then you will be in trouble if that goes down and so on but they do have other drugs that they actually sell and as you can see h1 basically this one is also heading the right direction there's another one that's also doing the same more or less the same thing and then there, there's more and then you've got the animal side of it the animal like i said earlier is actually declining a little bit a year to year so that's the all, all that i basically can give you in terms of that information but there's a lot more there's a lot more data to go through it's always important to look at these things and just find out um basically a bit more information about the company like the what is in the pipeline and so on so now let me show you the financials okay so this is the bit that you came here for so as you can see here the company stocks trading right now 108 dollars per share basically the five year return is about 64 percent let's call it about 65 percent and then eps right now is one dollar and 22 273 billion market cap so this is a huge company and it has a wide economic mode and a beta is very very low meaning this company is not very volatile the stock itself is not that volatile which is quite nice for long-term investors if you want to think about it. PE right now is about 21 the forward PE or however is 36 the five-year average is about 15 so based on the five year you you would think it's actually expensive right now and the fr price to free cash flow here we're looking about 24 and the peg ratio of just below um so just above one now the sector in terms of pe we're looking about almost 21 and the basically the s p 500 is about 23 as we speak right now now in terms of so it looks a little bit expensive when you look at the forward pe um but and also basically the current pe but let's have a look at a bit more detail and we'll see what the analysts are actually expecting from this company as well as the um price their price targets the annual dividend yield for this company is 2.7 percent which is really good the payout ratio okay is 42 percent so they have room to improve if they want to and the five, basic latest increase of five percent and the five-year growth rate of eight percent now the, in terms of the dividend how long they've been increasing this dividends about 11 years which is quite nice the annual payout you'll get two dollars and ninety and two cents for every share of this company that you own safety is 99 percent 11.26 billion dollars of free cash flow free cash flow yield of four percent which is really nice free cash flow margin of 17 percent which is huge and in terms of our profit margin we're looking about 5.3 operating margin of 11 percent return on equity of seven percent the total return in the last 10 years about 11 percent return on invested capital about 21 percent and the company annual growth rate in terms of revenue in the last five years is about 12 percent now current ratio is basically above one which is good so that means the company has enough liquid assets that they can liquidate if they need to to pay off any liabilities the company has in terms of growth estimate next year they're expecting the earnings to grow next year about 80 180 percent initially when i saw this i was a bit shocked i was like how is that even possible but they have made some basically they bought a new uh, two new companies one of them is already i think part of the company the other one is still in the pipeline so for that reason they basically the earnings will jump massively but it will come back down to the where it normally is about that 10 percent for the next five years current price um, was 108 dollars per share right now and according to mornings that we've already seen it's about 13 percent overvalued now simply wall street is actually thinks this company should be 260 dollars per share according to their basically um, calculation 
um, 58 percent basically undervalued they've always been bullish on this company and tip rack is actually saying 126 so that's about 15 percent upside they think it's a strong buy right now average price for uh, seeking alpha is 123 seeking alpha is also saying it's about 12 percent upside or 15 percent up 13 percent upside and it's actually a buy right now in terms of sharia compliance side of things there's no issues with this company in terms of interest bearing debt and should securities as well as in terms of um, business activity side of things and one of the things i like about this company they're buying back their own shares so they are investing a lot of money in buying back their own shares they're paying you about 2.7 uh, percent dividend yield and they have a drug that's actually in demand and actually selling really well Right, just a couple of more things to show you in terms of earnings we just need to look at the estimates and you will see here this year's kind of flat or going down a little bit and well about 60 percent and then after that there's a massive bounce because of that accusation that they made recently about 13 percent after that increase and there are quite a few analysts i was actually quite surprised about 10 8 8 7 6 so it's actually quite a lot of people looking at these stocks which is quite nice to see and in terms of revenue as well you can see from growing from 59 billion dollars to in say let's say up to here up to maybe nine as well from to 74 billion dollars so that's actually massive growth which is quite nice but every year the four or five percent growth is and plus your dividends that's basically what these companies give us in terms of return ratings we just show you quickly quant is actually saying as a hold right now seeking alpha analysts which are i think they're bullish on this as well there we go and um, it's saying it's a buy and seeking alpha ratings for um wall street analysts there's about 13 of them look basically are saying that's strong buy six of them are saying as a buy nine is saying as a hold and one is saying it's a so, um, sold at the moment so let me quickly go back here and show you just to be transparent i own 25 27 shares of this company i've had this for a very long time i don't think i bought anything since beginning of 2022 so i've been receiving the loads of dividends i bought i don't know why i bought it was about 15 pounds or whatever worth of shares but last time i actually bought a full share was 18th of february 2022 and the reason i haven't bought more of this company is because i'm up 50 percent there are other companies like Medtronic, for example i'm down quite a bit so i have been focusing more on these companies than this one here um so i'm gonna continue doing that until at least it comes back down to at least below hundred dollars per share if it goes below hundred dollars per share then i'll start looking again and maybe add a few maybe i don't want to add about another 13 shares or so of this company going forward because i like the business model uh, they have a patent of the key truder i don't think it's going to run out anytime soon i just need to double check that how many years of that patent that they have and then obviously uh, because that's 40 percent of their re total revenue comes from that so it'll be interesting to see if that runs out anytime soon and if it does obviously then i'm sure they will replace it with others but it will be interesting to check that out there you have it I, I hope you enjoyed that video i hope you are you know finding some value in what i'm doing here as always let me know if you have any questions subscribe to the channel let me you know in terms of the um basically supporting the channel feel free to get some of these things inshallah and obviously support the channel because i really do appreciate that have a wonderful day assalamu alaikum